Well, hello there, folks. My name is Mullen Buff Max, and I'm just going to cheat my map and bore him off of Route 5. <laughs> Selling you quality maps at what? Dirt cheap prices, you know how it is. Alright, it's time to put some knuckleheads on blast and figure out what map we're doing today. Piper Bacon and Andrew Dunn goofed are suggesting GM Underground. Plus, Mank Deem snuck in there again, too. You little rascal. We even got a Reddit commenter. Guy with too much time? Thanks. Thank God I took that part time job at the cemetery, because my corpse shoveling skills will come in handy at GM Underground. This map was dug out by Otto, otherwise known as AAA Gamer. Be sure to thank him for this lovely, lovely map. Now, I know some old versions of this map are floating around online, but let's go with the newest, improved version. GM Underground IV. Let's get digging! Now, contrary to popular belief, GM Underground has a surface. Kinda looks like a beta version of Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, but with more trash littered around. Like this cement square, or that guard tower with nothing in it. In fact, let's do some counting. You got two barrels, three trucks, two silos, two dumpsters, two containers, two flatbeds, three ketchup vats, plus one for the mustard, gravel play area, Nightwalker Ned's Stab Shack, don't go in there, you got Mud Lake and Poop River, the final resting place of the Animaniacs, Apollo 14, Abe Lincoln's Outhouse, John Will Wilkes Booth's outhouse, titled the Shit Semper Tyrannus, Mount Grey Rock. All right, what the hell does this even do? Automobile dog pile. If you're feeling hungry, go down to Rick and Sons Shake Shop. They sell the best malts from this side of the Eastern Seaboard. Oh shit, Dale, do you think that's a catapult? Radio tower? Uh, whatever this thing is. One long ass pavement with three hangers and a hell of a plopter. With surprise appearances by GM Flatgrass. You also got the Dawn of Man. Just looking at this thing makes me want to go ape. So shiny. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The entrance to the underground is guarded off by this neat little area called Government Property. This high-tech security facility can be entered by pressing this button. Just slide on down the fun tunnel and you'll enter the vape chamber. If you could survive that fat cloud of bubble gum and motor oil, you'll be off into the facility. A uh, P1's kinda boring. You got a storage facility. A computer room for all those bean counters. The cafeteria has too many chairs for that many tables. Hey look, Seinfeld's on! Take the elevator, or don't, to get down to P2. Or at least I think it's P2. They stopped numbering the walls. P2 is for moving big things. Walk or lazily ride your way to the end of this hallway to get to the shipping area. Here you'll find an elevator, which is how they get all their empty containers inside the facility. Sure is a little cramped up here. There's another checkpoint, so be sure to have your green card handy. Dale, I got yours. Do you got mine? Take either elevator and ride down to the bottom, where you'll find a stylistic rocky corridor, which opens up to P3. I think. P3 has four living corridors, A, B, C, and Deuce. They all got springs at the bottom, which I suppose is for fun. To the left, you got Hydroponics. Oh, it's just a plant room. I don't know why they just don't call it plant room. Why are they making up all these weird words? Over in medical, they got a bunch of cots that are, oh, they're not showing Seinfeld. That sucks. They also got an examination room, I think. If I just studied these graphs were a little bit longer, I think I could perform open heart surgery. <laughs> to the left, we got the armory. You got pistols, SMG, shotguns, grenades, Dale's crossbow, and a, a gnome. Wee, good shot, Dale. <laughs> now let me try. Mm, yeah, still got it. Oh, I guess the scientists are still working hard trying to figure out that ending of loss. Look at me, Dale. I'm doing science. Ugh, I don't even want to know what you guys are researching in here. All right, guys, you got to be very careful with these outfits. They're going to be wearing them at the next anime expo. Hey, there's a bunch of white fluid in jars over here. Oh, check it out. This one's labeled Dale. All right, let's move on to the next wing, shall we? Over here, we got storage. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Can't let him see me. Is he still there? Over here is waste disposal, packed with its own incinerator. Are, the, are those people down there? This server room is conspicuously empty. Oh shit, another cafeteria! Oh boy, let's see what today's special is. The same as yesterday, D dumbass. Dale, I gotta sit down for a moment. Dale, have I ever told you what triggering is? There's even a freezer! They also got a bunch of office rooms, but they're all identical, so who cares about that? The main attraction here is the power system. Ooh, yeah. This is how they keep the power to the facility going. Now those computers- Oh shit, look, it's the other two mustard vats! Over here is the reactor. It is very radioactive and dangerous, so you must wear proper attire. That's why I brought this baggy t-shirt and these Crocs. Here, Dale, put this shopping bag over your head and don't poke holes. Now transferring things to the reactors- Oh, we have to back up about Dan- Um... Uh... Okay, uh... I didn't think he worked down here. I wouldn't come down here if I... No, don't say hi! Take these stairs up and you'll find the control room of the AAA Corporation. Hey, Dale, what do you think AAA even stands for? Audaciously awesome... I can't think of any more words that start with A. From what I can gather, AAA Corporation launches satellites into space for, uh, research. Maybe. I'm not sure. But what I am sure about is that this boardroom is off the fucking rails! Oh, everyone stand back. Looks like they're in the middle of a cyber hack. Godspeed, you net runners. This is Blast Door Control, where guards can monitor every blast door in the facility, with the chair conveniently placed away from the screen. I mean, maybe it's an eyes in the back of the head situation. I mean, you don't know. You don't know! 
Oh! Finally, we got the master control room. This is where they launch all those satellites into space. Look at all these computers and monitors working in tandem to successfully infiltrate the space-time continuum. Now, since everyone's out at lunch at the moment, I think we'll have our own Mortal Mouth Mike satellite launch. Dale, can you uh, watch the window? All right, first you gotta do is flip this switch down here at the monitor. Ooh, ooh, that freaked me out a bit. <laughs> That's a funny noise. Uh, why'd all the lights go out? Maybe it's for mood. Uh, I don't really know. Lockdown phase activated, Mr. Silo. Missile? That's a funny name for a satellite. Maybe it's just for style. You know what, Dale? You're right. Let's continue with the launch! Just punch in both these buttons at the side of the control room and you should be ready to go. What, why are people banging on the door? They must be excited about the satellite launch. All right, let's go ahead! That's that weird thing we found earlier. It's opened up. Some steam's coming. Oh, that don't look like no satellite. Oh, that, oh, that's a, oh, Dale, oh boy, this is not good. Oh, uh, uh, I guess, can we recall it? I, oh, oh. Oh man, I knew I should have listened to that fucking monolith. Oh, okay, price breakdown. Uh, this item is really hot right now, so you can come uh, buy it for five dollars. Just, just come take it off our hands. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, gotta go. Dale, put that shopping bag back on your head. We're escaping through the missile shaft. Well, folks, that's all the time we had. I hope you enjoyed this tour through one of Gmod's many uh, explosive maps. If you, yeah, you, want to throw us a minute on our map, write down in the comments. And Mother Map Mac will check it out. And hey, if you know Otto, the creator of this map, tell him thanks for the map. Special thanks to all our knuckleheads of the week this week. Piper Bacon, Andrew Dunn Goofed, Mank Deems, and that guy with too much time. Well, it's been fun, but I gotta figure out how to stop a missile from hitting the major metropolitan area. Yeah, Dale, just Google a uh, missile and major metropolitan area. On second thought, maybe don't. This is Mike telling you to never press a button that you don't own. Like this one. Ah! Zap me!